I'm Coyote Peterson, this is Aiden, and this is Dylan, and today we're making a tide pool aquarium. You got him? Get him in there! Yes! Yeah! Woo! On this episode of Coyote's Backyard, we are headed to the coast where we will be navigating the slippery rocks with the goal of capturing as many tide pool animals as we can. The coastline of California is lined with public beaches, and if you arrive at low tide, you can leave the sand behind to explore amidst the rocks and shallows. Today I'm venturing out with Aiden and Dylan, who've been searching out and admiring marine animals for most of their young lives. Typically they compete against one another to see who can catch the coolest creature first. I think it's safe to say that nothing beats a friendly competition between two brothers. However, today we are going to mix things up a little, and we will be working together as a team to find and safely capture their favorite creatures. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is fill up the aquarium with water. Aiden, I'm gonna give you that responsibility. So head on out there into the ocean and fill it up with water. We'll wait here. Now we need to have water inside of our aquarium so that the animals that we catch and put in there are in their natural habitat. Watch your footing. It's slippery out here. You guys have those good water shoes on, right? Yep. Helps you stick to the rocks. All right, let's see, let's check this out. With water in the aquarium, we are now officially ready to start looking for creatures. Are you guys ready? Yeah! I think these guys are ready to catch some creatures. All right, everybody spread out and let's see what we can find. And just like that, we were often searching. Aiden and Dylan have a very precise method. First, you look into the shallow pools of water to see if anything is visible to the naked eye. And if not, then you begin gently flipping over rocks. And it didn't take more than a few minutes before Dylan called out the first find of the day. Mark, I found some sea stars! Oh yeah? What you got, bud? Oh yes, look at that. Look at those. That's awesome, great job Dylan. All right, pick one up and hold it up for the camera. Oh, those are bright colored too, little orange ones. Some people call them starfish, but we've actually learned that they're technically called sea stars. That's pretty awesome. Why don't you grab that other one from down there too? Yeah, really Set it in one. my hand. Oh, that one's really bright. That one's really bright orange. Let's see, put it in my hand there. Now, do you guys find these sea stars a lot? Yeah. Is this yeah. a very common animal here in the tide pools? Yeah. Yeah, about that. You think it's the most exciting animal? Yeah. What would be more exciting than a sea star? Octopus. Octopus. Well, let's put these in the aquarium and continue on yeah. looking for octopus. Dylan, you do the honors. There you go. Ah. Boom. Into the container. All right, guys. Well, so far, we have two sea stars. On to the next thing. A few more steps down the beach and Aiden stumbled upon one of the most bizarre animals you can come across at low tide. Whoa, Aiden, do you know what that is? Uh, a that, sea slug? It is, that is a black sea hare, a giant sea slug. You want me to put this on your head? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see it, Hold see Phil, look, 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 look at that. Ugh. Have you ever had a slug on your head before? It's like a new kind of hair gel. It's gonna be great hair gel for you. Yep. All right, I don't think that he is going to fit inside of our aquarium, but that is a pretty cool creature to come across. It's slimy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow, that is one sticky, ugh, slimy slug. All right, I think we need to find something a little bit smaller for ugh, our aquarium. Up next was a creature that looked as if it was from another planet. Hey, Coyote, I got a brutal start. Ooh, let's see. Dylan, come here, check this out. How do these things bite? No. Oh, that's good. All right, here, put it in my hands. Let's see if we can get it to walk around. Nice catch. Wow, that is pretty bizarre looking, isn't it? Now, these are related to sea stars, aren't they? Yep. Wow. Ooh, that feels kind of crazy, all its little tentacles grabbing onto me. Well, I think this is a great thing for our aquarium. Uh, Dylan, will you do me a favor and open up the top here? All right, gonna put this brittle star down in here with his sea star cousins. There we go. All right, I got the aquarium. Let's keep searching. The real secret to tide pool exploration is taking your time at every single pocket of water. And if you look real hard, there's a good chance something can be found. 
I found two crabs right here in this little puddle. And these are green striped shore crabs. I'm gonna have Dylan come in and I'm gonna challenge him to catch them. Hey Dylan! What? I found some crabs, buddy. Yay! Come on in here and guess what? You're gonna be the one that catches them. Okay. All right, I got one right there. Whoa, look at that. He's flaring his little pinchers up. Be careful. Ooh, you are brave. Nice. Hold that up for the camera. Take a look at that. <laughs> he doesn't want to... oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, he's holding on. Get him. Got him. Nice catch. All right, I'll get the aquarium. That is one brave kid right there reaching down into the water to pick up a crab. Put him in. Oh, yes. Okay, the aquarium's looking pretty good so far. We've got a brittle star, we've got some sea stars, we've got two striped shore crabs, and some great decorations. You know what this aquarium could really use? What's that? An octopus. Oh, I agree with you, Aiden. I think this aquarium needs an octopus. Should we keep searching? Yeah. All right, let's go. The boys ran ahead with excitement as they were determined to find an octopus, which can oftentimes be like finding a needle in a haystack. Camouflage is crucial to the existence of most animals, and whether it's being used to keep a predator concealed while stalking in the shadows, or a prey species hidden from the predator's attack, the creatures who specifically inhabit the shoreline boast some of the greatest hiding abilities in the world. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a goby right there up against that rock. Look, 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 look. Oh, you, you see it? Like perfectly. That is perfect camouflage. I'm gonna try to slowly cut my hands around it and see if we can get it out of the water. Real slow. Oh, I think I got him. Oh, yes, nice. got it. That is a little goby. Awesome, Mark, can you see that? Yeah. Sweet, all right, can one of you open up the aquarium here? I got it. All right, get it for me, buddy. Aquarium is open and goby is in. We got it? Nice. Nice, dude, this is excellent. Now we have a fish. There's only one thing left to add to this aquarium. You know what that is, right? Octopus. All right, who's gonna catch the octopus? I will. You're gonna catch it? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm look. pretty sure that I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna look. You're gonna get it first? Yeah. All right, the race for the octopus is on. The race didn't last much longer, as no more than a few yards from the goby, I spotted an octopus. All right, this is exciting. I'm almost positive that there's an octopus under this rock. Just out of the corner of my eye, I saw a tentacle tucked back under there. Brought in the boys, and what I'm gonna do is slowly lift up the rock. Now when I do this, I need you guys to gently scoop up the octopus so we can get it for the aquarium. Are you ready? Yep. This is what you guys are good at. So I'm gonna lift the rock, you guys get the octopus. Mark, you good? Go for it. All right, here we go. You guys ready for this? Yep. They're fast? Uh, fingers crossed, come on, octopus. Real slow, real slow. There he oh, is. Yep. Oh, yes, yes, get it, get it, get it. Oh, it's on the bottom of the rock. Scoop it up, scoop it up. Wow. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, he's gonna try to get back under the rock. You got him, got him. Here, let's lift up the rock. The rock. Right he's stuck to the rock. Look at that, okay, let's just look at him like that. Holy cow, there it is. That is a two-spot octopus. All right, Aiden, put your hand in here. Let me see if I can get it to just slink onto your hand. Oh, look at those sticky tentacles. And octopus in the hand. Excellent, all right, I got the aquarium. Yeah. Oh, lid open, lid open. Dylan, get the lid. Get him in there. Yes! Yeah! Woo! We have yeah. caught an octopus. That is a two-spot octopus, and I am pretty sure that that caps off the best creature we can possibly find here in the tide pools. All right, let's go up here onto the rocks and take a look at all of our catches. Now this is my favorite part. This is almost like Halloween. It's like we went out, got all of the candy, and now we gotta sort through it and see what we've got. Okay, I'm gonna take the top of the aquarium off. First, let's go for this crab, because it's right on the edge here. Don't pinch me, don't pinch me. Ah! Yup, he's pinching me. Ouch! Ah, wow, ow! He's got me good. Ah, look at that. Well, he's holding on to me while I'm holding on to him. Now that is a striped shore crab, and that thing is beautiful. Look at that green and black striping. You see blowing bubbles at me. Ooh, boy, he almost popped a hole in my finger. All right, let's see if I can just get him to balance from hand to hand. Wow, so you guys catch these crabs all the time and you don't get pinched by them? Not really, no. Of course, it's me that comes out here and gets pinched every single time. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. All right, Dylan, what do you want me to take out next? The brittle star. Brittle star, let's find it. I think it's hiding under here. Oh, there it is. Try to get it here. Got it. Okay. Wow, look at that. Okay, I always thought that was just a sea star. What's the difference? 
A brittle star is very ambidextrous. You can see that its arms allow it to crawl much more quickly over any surface, while a sea star pretty much stays planted in one spot. Look at that, it almost looks like a mix between a sea star and a spider. Now Aiden, what do you think this creature looks like? It looks kind of like an alien. It does look like an alien, doesn't it? And I think that all the creatures of the tide pools look like they're from another planet. All right, let's put this one back into the aquarium and take something else out. Ready? You want to put them in? Yep. There you go. Set them in there gently. Okay, what should we take out next? You think we can get the goby out of there? Now, what is a goby? A goby is a little bottom feeding fish and it's probably going to be fairly hard to get him out of here. There we go. I got it. There we go. Nice. Only keep him out of the water for a second. Look at that. He's got buggy eyes. He sure does have buggy eyes. Have you guys ever caught a goby before? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Is this a big goby or a small goby? Um, big compared goby. to the ones we find, uh, big. It's a big one? Yeah. Cool. Well, I'd say that is a perfect creature to have in our aquarium then. And it sure was fast, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get the goby back into the water. There you go, little fish. Okay, and last but not least, it is octopus time. All right, let me see if I can get it up off the corner here. Whoa, squirt me with water. Wow, the two-spot octopus. Look at those eyes looking right back at us. And it is saying, whoa, let me back into the water. And they're so slimy. Go ahead, put your fingers in here. And you guys handle these things all the time, right? Yep. Woo, it's amazing how fast that they can slither from one hand to the next. Whoops, trying to get away from us. Bring it back up here. Now, have you guys ever been inked by an octopus? Yes. Yeah. You have? Is that gross? A lot. He's a yeah. lot. He's been... You get inked a lot? Many times. I have yet to be inked by an octopus, and I don't think that I want to be. Well, this is pretty awesome, and I think at this point we need to get all these creatures back into the ocean. What do you think? Yep. Sounds yeah. good to me. Well, I would consider this a complete success. We came across so many creatures today, guys. Sea stars, brittle stars, crabs, and even a two-spot octopus. Aiden, Dylan, thank you guys so much for having me right out here into your backyard exploring the tide pools of California. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Searching for and admiring tide pool creatures is a great way to enjoy nature. However, some sea creatures are venomous, and if you are going to attempt handling one, always remember that it's important to properly identify a species before picking it up. Yeah, yeah buddy! Awesome, we did it! All right, well, let's get back on the shore. If you thought this coyote's backyard was exciting, tell us about all the cool things that live behind your house, because you never know, the Brave Wilderness crew and I might show up to film an episode with you. And don't forget, Subscribe so you can join us on our next big adventure.